a new track is coming to Formula One in 2022. South Florida will host the series' first race in the Sunshine State since 1959, F1 announced Sunday, April 18. The news of the Miami Grand Prix broke out about three hours before the Emilia-Romagna event. A 10-year deal has been signed to bring the race to South Florida. As of now, there is no official date for the race, but the plan is to hold the first race in the second quarter of 2022. The Miami GP circuit will be held at the Hard Rock Stadium Complex in Miami Gardens, which is home to the National Football League's Miami Dolphins. Hard Rock Stadium will be at the heart of the 5.41-kilometer, 3.362-mile circuit, featuring 19 corners and three straights. All of the straights could be designed as DRS zones. It will help the local economy surrounding Miami, and there will be a program to support local businesses and the community. We are thrilled to announce that Formula One will be racing in Miami beginning in 2022, Stefano Domenicali, president and CEO of Formula One, said in a release. The USA is a key growth market for us, and we are greatly encouraged by our growing reach in the US which will be further supported by this exciting second race. We will be working closely with the team from Hard Rock Stadium and the FIA to ensure the circuit delivers exciting racing but also leaves a positive and lasting contribution to the people in the local community. We are grateful to our fans, the Miami Gardens elected officials and the local tourism industry for their patience and support throughout this process. We are looking forward to bringing the greatest racing spectacle on the planet to Miami for the first time in our sports history. The Miami Gardens venue will be the second event to be held in South Florida. The first U.S. Grand Prix held on a road course was at Sebring International Raceway, a little more than 150 miles to the northwest. It's the 11th venue F1 has run it in the United States since the championship started in 1950. F1 is set to race at Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, in October this year.